What is going on, everyone? We're back over here for another Kaizen update. This is the second time we're doing this, and hopefully this gives you a lot of insight into things we're working on and just updates with the Mavis fam over here. That's right. Let's jump into it. Uh, let's start out with anniversaries. So again, I know we're in the month of September, but looking back, just acknowledging we had Dan, who celebrated two years in August, Orlando and Jeremy at their one-year mark. Um, all these guys are really making some great traction in their business. So it's exciting to see what, what kind of business you can build in just a year or two. Pretty cool. I can't believe, um, these guys are already at a year and, and also Dan, it's only been two years. I feel like Dan's been here since the yeah, beginning. Right? So yeah, very cool. Very cool indeed. Yeah. Uh, big wins to celebrate. Um, number one, Danielle and Denver, our first franchisee, they crushed it well, well surpassed 50 K per month in revenue. Uh, as of a couple months ago too. Uh, so we sent them this basketball and Danielle, uh, the first franchisee, when she first signed on, I actually sent her like a baseball bat yeah, uh, as like a gift. And <laughs> she was like, what do I do with this baseball bat? And so ever since then, we're just going to keep sending her sports yeah. goods. And this is another sports good as well, uh, surpassing $50,000 per month in revenue. And they're consistently hitting that, which is awesome. Fantastic. Uh, Dan, the man, shredding 100 Google reviews over here. Dan got this trophy as well uh, for surpassing 100 Google reviews in his location. So yeah, congrats to both of you guys. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And uh, I mean, and you can't tell real well, but that's basically what he looked like before, you know, he shaved his head. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's just a reminder about some of the things we have, right, guys? So Print Fix, again, that's the new print vendor. I know some of you are already working with them. We put up in the in Slack in terms of the process for ordering and getting your specific contact information updated. As always, if you ever have issues with the vendor, you have questions, concerns, you guys can let me know. Um, but I'll be keeping a close eye on things and making sure that you guys are getting the products that you need the way you need them. Let's also talk about swag. So the Made This Gear shop is open through the end of September. They're going to run their first print September 15th. Then any orders that come in after that will go out on September 30th. Uh, hey, we'd love to hear if you're ordering stuff. Uh, if there's things that you want that weren't on there, we're happy to make that happen. And certainly, too, looking forward to uh, buying somebody a hat or a shirt on who wins the uh, most recent apartment infiltration competition. And guys, with the swag shop, um, please buy whatever you want as a group rate together. We get group rates because they get printed all at once, which is awesome. So go and put your order in, like Jenny said, as soon as you can. And that'll allow it to be cheaper for everyone going forward as well. That's so right. Get your Christmas shopping in now, right? I mean, this is like we want to promote the brand, get it out there. And uh, yeah, take advantage while we've got it. Uh, another vendor, uh, Kivinci, you've heard me, yeah, I've probably been poking you guys as everyone got their Kivinci uh, set up. I think we're probably at about 75, 80%, almost all the way there. Uh, once we get everybody on board, we'll be really excited to share what some of those tools are. And um, in fact, those who are already there are getting benefits of what those financial dashboards are. It's pretty impressive. Love it. Tech fee reminders. So I posted this in Slack as well. Um, quick update, we are increasing the tech fee from 150 to 200 uh, starting October. So only on your November invoice you get it uh, in for the past, which is in October. Uh, luckily, this is cheaper than active campaign. So you guys are using active campaign, much of you are paying $87 a month, plus nice job, which is another $50 a month. You could cancel both of those because Go High Level does everything for you and we have it fully set up for you. So. Just a $50 increase in the tech fee, and then you'll be saving a lot more money. So that's going to hit automatically, and you guys should have got a notification about that already. Yep, pretty straightforward. Uh, May this University grads, uh, we talked last month about the people in May this University. They already graduated, which is kind of crazy. A lot of them have already hit their money milestone, which is that first cleaning done as well. So Mithul and Makai from Philly, congrats, fellas. Yep. Julius and Fishers, and Yvonne in San Antonio. That's awesome right. stuff, Watch guys. Out. Yeah, these guys are going to be on the anniversary a year from now, which is pretty wild, pretty exciting. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So speaking of recent uh, Made This University grads and something that um, has really been in kind of the, the works for the last few months since I've been on board is building out what is a roadmap to that first money milestone, which is 10K a month. How do you bring in $10,000 a month and hit that regularly? So working with Neil, talking to franchisees who have come through the system, who have been here, um, we really said, that's what we can do to make this like a checklist, some sort of um, 
kind of the like a, a tool that we'll use in coaching calls, but that you could actually go out and use yourself to self-diagnose and say, let me look at my marketing. Let me look at my operations. What are the top three things in each of those categories that I need to do to hit 10K a month? So this is something that's going to be completely built out by the end of the week. And we'll be uh, sharing with everybody, you know, Neil and I have been going back and forth and really excited about this tool. Uh, I'm pumped on this one, right? It, it's it's like all the knowledge we kind of knew already about how to troubleshoot these things. And honestly, like, it's not just for if you're hitting 10K, even beyond it. Yeah. You're like, hey, look, my LSA is not humming right now. I don't know what's going on. If you click into that little LSA, marketing-LSA SOP, which is a notion for you guys, it's awesome. It says, well, let's first, let's analyze your close rate. Here's the benchmark. Are you hitting it or not? Yes, no. If no, go here. And there's like seven steps for you to be able to self-diagnose just LSA. And the exact same checklist is there for Thumbtack or Facebook groups or all these other things as well. So we call it the 10K per month program, but the reality is it's the easiest way to self-diagnose whatever's going on in your business. Uh, yeah. It's awesome. Jenny spent a lot of time working on this, yeah, so definitely sure. check it out. Hey, this is like living, breathing. So if you guys see things we're missing uh, just in general and specific to this too, let us know. We're happy to, to make changes and, and really build something that's reflective and um, that's an efficient tool for you guys. Absolutely. All right. So this is really exciting. Just want to put this out there. Um, we are looking to plan a spring retreat. So made this franchise owners in person uh, a day or two, just getting that chance to have the face to face connections. Um, you know, we're going to work on the details coming soon. But right now we're looking at this coming April or March. Yeah. And it's going to be East Coast, guys, more yep. than likely Florida, but we will keep you guys updated. That's right. Okay. Looking ahead, guys, just in general, this is our chance to remind you that when we build things out, um, when we plan things or come up with resources, we want to do stuff that is the most bang for the buck. So one of the things even this next week that I will be asking on my coaching calls or even reaching out through Slack channels, what is it that you need from us as a franchise or a system? What is it that would get you over that hump that would help you bring in the revenue that would help you with that piece of the business that is just not quite clicking. What can we do from our end in terms of a resource, whether it's investment, time, um, my focus, et cetera. We wanna know what is it that we can focus on. So start thinking about that. Feel free to ping me directly, ping Neil directly. Um, that's something that you'll be hearing from me that's important in terms of guiding what we do next and where our resources are spent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's a big, piece is what do you guys need most and we will build that right simple as that uh another thing we're working on as well you guys probably know this month we issued um, a marketing playbook for apartment complex infiltration yeah. so jenny spent a ton of time literally going into apartment complexes recording herself uh putting in the notion as to be for you guys issuing challenges every month our plan is to do the same thing we're going to issue a new marketing playbook per month yeah. based off of the feedback from you guys what we're seeing working and we're just going to beat things up, probably issue a challenge for a lot of them, make them as easy as possible for you. So for next month, we're actually going to focus on Facebook groups, yep. uh, next door groups, how to probably do that. We're going to um, crowdsource a few things to help make this a lot easier for you guys too. And that way we can kind of get the hive mind around that. That's right. And that really just leads to that last slide, right? What is it that we can do to better support you? That's like the whole essence of why I'm here. So take advantage of that. That's a really um, genuine request. Uh, we want to know how is it that we can build successful franchisees. That mm -hmm. door is always open. Uh, yeah. And Jenny, I'd say one thing I forgot to mention, a big focus of this next upcoming month is the crowdsourcing piece. Yeah. Um, so a big benefit is not just knowledge sharing, but also resource sharing. Yes. The best tools, the best remote team hires, uh, bumping each other's posts and posts in Facebook groups. There's so many things we can do together, and we're going to yep. focus a lot of this on curating that. How do we help each other easily, right? And so yep. Janie's going to be talking a lot about that. We're going to spin up a new Slack channel around that. Yep. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's it, man. That's a lot. It's exciting. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll catch you again next month. All right.